Good morning, guys. It's currently 5.11 a.m. I can see that. Can I zoom in? But you can see it's 5.11 a.m. Tuesday morning, um, August 27th, I believe. And we're going to be doing a day in the life. And I'm absolutely killed. Um... This is going to be the day I left of a bodybuilder on prep of uh, a self-improver. I'm self-improving. I'm currently working on myself and a business owner. And let me tell you what, I feel like I'm dying physically, mentally. Like real note, this prep has been so fucking hard, guys. It's been so hard. As of recently, like my body's just so tired. I feel like I get hit by a bus every morning I wake up. I always feel inflamed too, which isn't good. And yeah, it's a bit hard. I'm not as lean as I would like to be at the moment. <sighs> but Again, with the, all that fatigue, it's hard to push past my current leanness, it seems like. But we're going to get there. Um, and mentally as well, just because there's so much shit on my plate. Last prep, it was easy. I had a support circle. I wasn't in a relationship. I just had a job or worked. You know, all I had to do was go to work, do the gym, sleep, you know, repeat. Now it's like, you gotta run a business, you gotta deal with all these problems. I had a relationship, kinda. It was kinda one. And, well, that ended a couple weeks ago. And even though it wasn't like hard to get over, hard to struggle, it was just <sighs> still, a cherry on top of some things. And just a whole lot of shit, bro. I'll be honest. A whole lot of fucking shit. So. Yeah. it's it, Dude, it's been just such a hard prep. But I. I really need to win. I really do. I really do need to win. So we just gotta keep pushing. And it's the point where. You know. Some people might think to themselves. Oh, Fuck. What if my body shuts down? What if I get hurt? What if I get sick? And I have those thoughts. But I just think to myself, there's only one way to find out. <laughs> and that's just, just fucking push, dude. Push. All right, so I just got up, literally. Don't feel good. Mouth is dry. Everything hurts. <laughs> so we're going to run through my morning routine now and get going about the day. Um, I'll probably do a workout later. I need to. I'm supposed to. But we'll probably do a deload, kind of just like a light workout. At least that's what I'm saying right now. Um, you never know. As soon as I get some caffeine in me, everything changes. So let's go to my kitchen and run through my morning routine. Here's a thumbnail. There we go. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, right here is my morning digestion, health drink, whatever you want to call it. So we got, here, let me raise it up. 16 ounces of water, apple cider vinegar with the mother, it's all organic. And then a prebiotic fiber supplement. And so I'm just gonna mix a little bit of each in there. And boom, there's the morning health thing. 
I just put a little bit of both in there. The apple cider vinegar is going to be good for your digestive system, gut health, um, blood sugar, fat loss, a lot of things, insulin sensitivity. Fiber prebiotic, also good for digestive system um, and health too. Fiber helps out your cholesterol a lot. Okay. So I'm going to drink this, then we're going to grab caffeine and sit down and journal. Okay, guys. So just finished up that water. Sat on my kitchen for like 10 minutes, kind of goofing off on my phone. And honestly, I'm feeling a little bit more motivated about today. Um, more woken up, still don't have any caffeine in me, and I'm a fucking fiend for caffeine. So as soon as I get some caffeine in me, day's going to get a lot better. Um, first things first, I'm feeling better because I got some, I guess, positivity in my in my mind. Like... Um, just scrolling on Instagram, I saw some things I want, like some cool cars, right? Saw people look up to, um, of course I had some girls in my DMs, and I, I don't know, that shit just, you know, it fires you up. It, it makes you feel like, okay, you know, working hard every single day, even when you don't feel like doing it, it's, it's gonna pay off, right? You're getting so close to these things, you know what I'm saying? So, that makes you feel a little bit motivated, and I think it's important to have some type of, like, if you don't got that, like some type of visualization going on in your mind every single morning. Uh, like the journaling is good for that as well, but if you struggle to feel motivated in the morning, print out some pictures of like places you want to travel to, a car you want, a body you want to like, you know, l look like, I guess, if you want to put it that way, not have, but you know, you admire, um, just whatever that you think would inspire you. Okay, because then you can see that and you'd be like, you know, I'm, I don't feel like going back to bed. I want I want that. <laughs> so after I get done with drinking that water, I drink my caffeine. Okay, right away. I need it, um, especially on prep. So I would not recommend energy drinks in the morning unless you're like deep into a prep. I do coffee. It's a lot healthier. It's one ingredient. It's just fucking coffee. Um, I mean, this chemicals and shit going straight to your gut right in the morning, you know, it's not the best, but it does help curb hunger, um, and give you some energy and boost metabolism. So I like to have energy drinks during prep, especially Celsius's. They tend to curb my hunger the most. I think it's from the Gornaro seed, I believe. I'm not really sure, but these are good. And I pick up my journal and we get the journaling. So... Take you through that. I tell you what, though. Celsius used to taste better. Like, I don't know what it is. Ever since it went from zero to 10 cows, it just sucks now. And it's probably the amount of, like, fake sugar in there. <laughs> but, hey, man, it's whatever. All right, now real quick, actually, let's do a visualization because I just saw another vision and it made me feel good, okay? So again, reason I wake up early, the whole morning routine is dedicated to giving yourself time when it's peaceful and it's quiet, right? And you're, you're a little bit tired, so your mind's a little bit slow. It's not thinking about too much to build your future, man. Really it, you know, take care of yourself. So, you know, I'm just, I'm, assuming, I'm seeing myself in fucking Miami where it's warm, drinking on the Celsius, but this time I'm journaling out on a balcony, right? And I got, I got my dream car out in the garage, Lamborghini Urus. Don't know how the fuck I'm going to get that, but we're going to figure it out. All right, it's nice out. I go outside. I, I feel the warm air, the wind. I see the hot girls, yeah. The beach, mm. I see myself hitting the gym out there. Just having a good day every single day out there. Boom, it's my visualization. That's a big goal of mine, accomplish exactly that. Oh, like I love bodybuilding, dude, but fuck. I 
hate it. <laughs> okay, so we start off with the day. It was a general notebook, so um, you guys back as much as you can. There we go. So I always write down the day, which is it's a Wednesday. No, it's a Tuesday. Still early in the week, and I always say good morning world today is this will be like it's a beautiful day it's gonna be a good day it's gonna be a killer day i'm gonna i'm gonna conquer today today is be an amazing productive amazing productive high vibrational day hell yeah i'm calling it bro boom high vibrational day and then i always like to give thanks so thank you god for today today i am grateful for and i'll list off three things Today I'm grateful for, list off three small things, helps you get into a, a state of entitlement, makes you sit there for a moment and kind of think about, okay, what am I grateful for, right? For me, that's been real healthy. So today I'm grateful for, hmm. Shit, man. <laughs> See, bro, sometimes it's hard. Sometimes you feel ungrateful for, you don't feel grateful for much, you know? You... When I, because when I thought about that, I thought about how my back hurts and how everything hurts and how I'm tired. But sometimes what you have to do is inverse operate that. You take the thing that comes to your mind that like, fuck that, and you turn it into something you're grateful for. So today I'm grateful for the struggle I have faced this prep why am I grateful for that because if I had an easy prep I wouldn't have grown I wouldn't have uh, experienced I just wouldn't have grown man it's simple as fucking that dude so I'm glad it's been hard it's good um, fuck. Alright, so I finished up the gratefulness. I'm grateful for the day. I'm grateful for the struggle of prep. I'm grateful for my health. And I'm grateful for the time I spent with my friends the other day. I think it was like two days ago. I went out on the boat with my buddies for a little bit. And it was nice. Mm. Well, all I wanted to do was work when I was out there. But it was cool. It was chillax. Yeah, it was nice. Yeah, one big struggle with this prep, though, is I have, like, no support circle. Like, last prep was easier because me and all my, you know, my friends around here were a little bit closer. And so we used to work out together all the time, help me film, just be together, like, all the time. It was it was summer, you know? So we just prepping, summering. We actually worked the same job as one of my boys. And now it's just, like, everything's so divided. And, like, it's just me alone, bro doing this shit like i got my coach but you know other than that i have really no support circle at all dude nothing that sucks it really does a lot of people won't understand it that's the thing is a lot of people look it on the inside and think it's all cool it is all cool but support circle is very important during a prepping competition because, you know, you do face a lot of struggle. You do get a lot of buildup of fucking bullshit. And then people really hope, hope you take that out. Help you calm that down. You know, having people to spend time with, take your minds off thing. And so, that's why getting leaner has been a little bit harder. A little bit more stressed out because I don't have an outlet in terms of, you know, human connection. <laughs> and uh, I've definitely been eating a little bit more. 
ain't good. So that's where I want to work towards. That's why I really want to get out to Miami after these couple shows. Because I get to get around people like me. I get to get around people like me. Whenever like I truly talk about things I want to talk about around around people around here, it's just like they cannot fucking keep up a conversation. And it sucks. You know? Okay. So with that done with gratefulness. We gotta write down our goals for today. Okay? So today my goals are to Okay. Let's think about the goals today. So I have my daily mandatories already. 5 a.m. wake up, 15-minute journaling session. Um, 30 minutes of cardio. So I wouldn't say I have to do it because, again, in a prepping contest, you. I'm trying to think. I've been noticing too much fatigue from cardio. So we might skip it today and just take a really long walk is what I'm thinking. Uh, 30 minutes of reading, though. That's another daily mandatory. Track macros on one gallon of water. So those are just like mandatories I got to do every single day. When I write out my daily goals, it's more like specific goals to move the needle ahead um, on a specific goal. You know, these just move the needle ahead in general. So my goals are to, I want to, um, first things first, let's just go over. Okay, today's a refeed day, refeed day slash back day so it's a back day it's a refeed day so i'm gonna have a lot more food and i'm gonna hit back and then it's just kind of something i want to remind myself i want to export the rest of secret project videos <laughs> and then work on Notion THPR setup, I guess. So that's for my coaching, my actual one on one coaching. I'm, I'm implementing Notion to it. So I think I'm going to use it like the, a home base for everything. So we're going to add a new client. We re, re, we uh, retain all their information in there. And then they'll have... Uh, it's just really organized. A whole bunch of cool shit inside of there. Uh, I think it'll be nice. So I'm adding that in. And I'm really... It's, oh my god. With every single client, I'm trying to take... Um, you know, tracking everything about them to the next level and giving them the next level of resources and um, tracking as well. So that's why I've been, I've been using this notebook to write down my client's information each and every single week, down to even things like adding up all of their calories they ate and then adding up the amount of calories they were supposed to eat and either, you know, telling them how much they went over or how much they're under, like small things like that. Um, so I'm really taking extra care of every single person. And then the whole notion thing is so we can start implementing habits into people's life. I had a couple calls with clients this week talking to me about, uh, setting up their, their morning routine and their daily mandatories. And then we got the mindset in the school community and then everything will be organized in the notion is my kind of thing about it. And then, um, yeah, that's my. I guess high ticket offer at the moment. It's not really that high ticket. And then I am working on a, a low ticket offer as well. So something a little bit cheaper that is like a third of the price of my one-on-one -on -one coaching. And so the one-on-one -on -one coaching is like a done with you. Like everything's done with you. I hold your hand basically. And this other offer is gonna be a done for you. So like everything is done for you there. Of course, I'm still going to be there on calls once or twice a week. I haven't decided exactly yet, but it's more like all the information's there and there's still access to me and other people. Um, so yeah, but that's basically it for the journaling. I keep it simple, set the tone for the day, gratitude, goals, get to work. 
Okay, so now that we're done with the journaling, I'm just gonna knock out some simple tasks right away. So load up the computer. I'm going to upload today's PR talk. And then maybe just get to work on some things. You know, my mind's pretty clear at the moment. It's not super clogged. So I just get to work on some things, get into a little flow state for a little while. Get fasted, because I'm not doing my cardio this morning. I definitely, I, I don't think I'm doing it. First off, I, I don't think I, I don't believe I need it. And I think it's just causing me a lot of fatigue. You know, my cardio regimen is set to 30 minutes, three times a week. And so I, I upped it myself um, to doing like 30 minutes every single day. And it hasn't made much of a change in how much fat I've been losing. And I've just been getting super fatigued. And so, uh... I think we're just going to stick to 30 minutes of morning cardio Monday, Wednesday, Friday, but then make sure I take about a five mile walk every single day. Sounds like a, lo a long walk. It doesn't take that long though. It takes like 45 minutes an hour, I believe. Maybe the mileage is off, but it's around there. Um, and I have a park right next to me, so it's nice. I just, I just take a walk, listen to some podcasts. And I like to do that because I get outside midday. Oh, walking is the best for fat burning and I also have food in me by that time and so you know I've noticed that after I eat my first meal of the day my metabolism picks right up you know if I do cardio in the morning I don't sweat at all I don't even feel like I'm moving correctly so if I have my first meal and I wait a little and then do some cardio I just feel like a lot more energized is the best way to put it so yeah I'm gonna sit down and probably just work for an hour or two um and then we'll see where the day goes, to be quite honest with you. I don't do a super regimented day. Some people have like a Google Calendar they live their life by. I don't have that yet just because I, I just, I'm not at the point where things are that organized, you know? Every day is just like different things coming at me and I just got to work on them, you know what I'm saying? And so taking time to set up a Google Calendar never worked for me. Um, yeah, I'm not really optimal. I just like to fucking get shit done, dude. Okay, so... It's 6.45, just exported today's PR talk, and did some short form content editing, so um, let me actually pull up my my Notion here, because it's got all my, what I gotta do on a day-to-day -day basis, and we're gonna start checking it off. Okay, this is my current PR method, so we got my morning routine, my daily mandatories. 5 a.m. wake up so far, morning journaling, still gotta read. Um, still gonna do some type of exercise today. Cold shower, we'll take that soon. We did the apple cider vinegar. We posted one piece of content. Now I'm gonna go do 10 vacuums. Um, and then I'm gonna have breakfast. I'm gonna have breakfast, then I'm gonna do about four hours of deep work. I'll have a meal throughout there. And then I'll have my pre-workout, go workout. And yeah, see where the day goes. All right, guys, so. Now we're out in the lab, we're out in the, the garage gym, and I'm going to be working on doing some of my vacuums. So the vacuums help build the diaphragm muscles, from my understanding, and uh, suck in the waste. And <laughs> Vacuums are a part of doing certain poses, so you got to get strong at them. Um, and I hate them, dude. They're my least fucking favorite thing ever. But I gotta do them, dude, because I kinda got a little bit of a bigger waist and really shitty diaphragm muscles, so I'm gonna do 10 sets of them. What we usually do is I kinda just hold on to this right here. You start down low. And the goal is to be able to talk and breathe while holding that in. Um, it's definitely fucking hard, but definitely looking lean, a little bit lean today. But yeah, I'm just gonna do some of these for a little while. About 10 sets though. Oh, I didn't eat. I can't wait to eat. Okay, here's meal one. Check it out. So, yeah, let me put it in some light. We got two dave's killer bread bagels these are like whole wheat bagels really good all natural ingredients we got some pb2 on top of there mixed in with sugar-free syrup so i'll show you how i'll make that in a second um one full banana then we have 270 ish grams of egg whites and about a cup of broccoli so that's going to be 70 80 ish grams of carbs 
50 grams of protein and I would say honestly like five grams of fat the most. The way I do the, the PB2 is I take about a serving out of here. So about 13 grams and I mix it in with sugar-free syrup and you mix it up and then you get basically peanut butter without the fat in it. So really low calorie. I mean, that's only about 60, you know, we'll say comfortably maybe like a hundred calories on top of there. And it's gonna taste absolutely amazing. I'll put some uh, sugar-free ketchup on top of there. And that's usually my go-to breakfast is pretty much this. It's, it's awesome, dude. I'm fucking hyped. <laughs> I'm so excited. <laughs> okay, guys. So the time is now about 8 a.m. Got done with my shower. Got all dressed. Got all ready for the day. Uh, it's been about three hours since I woke up. So, you know, realizing that I probably got to decrease my time from when I wake up to when I actually start getting work done. Of course, there's a lot of things I got to do. But <clears throat> pretty good amount of time. But now it's time to start doing some deep work. I want to do about four hours of deep work every single day. And that isn't just like all in one line. It can be sometimes. But today, I probably, um, if it's if it's about eight right now, I'll probably do like two, three hours of work, go take my uh, four-ish, five-ish mile walk, eat my pre-workout meal, you know, maybe sit down for another half an hour, hour, go work out. After my workout, I'm pretty much just fucking killed. So that's when I go on like my phone, social media, Reply to DMs, try to set up calls with people, post, engage, etc., read. And then usually by then it's like five, six, seven. Maybe I'll regenerate, do some more work. Who knows? You know, it just depends how the day goes. That's one thing about trying to bodybuild and do like some entrepreneur type shit is like you just got to go with the flow. You can't really force yourself some days just because some days are different than others when it comes down to your, you know, your body. Dude. Some days you just cannot fucking bring it out of you. Um, so that's number one priority. So yeah, I'm gonna work on some stuff here and just get fucking after it, okay? I'll catch you. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we are off to do our daily four-ish mile walk. Um, usually I'll get like about 10,000 steps in. I don't think that's four miles. Maybe that is four or five miles, I don't know. It should be about 10,000 steps. It's pretty long, but it's good. I need it too right now. I just sat down for about two hours, two and a half hours maybe in total on the computer, but I'm using like a new software and so a lot of it was just trying to figure it out i barely get anything done um but i know i know once i understand how to use it it's going to be beneficial for me it was just super fucking frustrating bro i got so frustrated dude and i just felt like fuck it's a waste of time but you know again once i learned it will be better so i'm gonna go take this long walk no headphones just fucking walk chillax chill with nature because i'm needing it in life right now i'm part of this prep i've just there's a lot of things angering me and yeah, I'll be real, just mentally I'm strong, but there's just a lot of bullshit that I wish I could change, you know, and it takes time to make change. So it's just me, myself and I, it feels like, you know what I'm saying? Um, yeah, I won't go into it. I'll let the walk do the therapy. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna take this walk. I'll show y'all the wristband after how long we walk because i just threw it on so it's at zero in terms of steps and mileage uh so we'll see where we're at after that peace all right i'm out here on the walk dude check it out little thing i was thinking about those in life dude you just gotta walk away and not look back no matter what the situation is dating that job that environment that mindset the way you treat yourself you just gotta walk away walk away and not look back because I think the right things will always find you. You know, recently I went through, I guess that breakup or I had to like cut that girl off who I really liked, I did. Um, and you know, my mindset about this is I'm gonna walk away and not look back. I'm not gonna look back if she's the right one or if she's the wrong one. Because the only way to truly find that out is what do they do after? You know what I'm saying? Um, and same thing with everything else. It's just like, you gotta take that risk to find out if it was the right one or the wrong one in life, dude. Don't be scared to live multiple lives is the best way I put it. And somebody once said that they really liked that analogy, so I'm gonna say it again is, don't be scared to live multiple lives. A lot of people are so attached to their current identity, they never allow themselves to discover what they could become by being fluid and allowing themselves to walk away from particular things in life and try something else. 
Because even if it's the wrong decision, that's better than no, no action at all is the best way to put it. All right, I'm going to try to find my way home because I don't know where I am. <laughs> okay, ladies and gentlemen, we just got back from the walk. What kind of, I think the walk over there in the park, my house is still down there. Um, health app says 7,800 steps. So that's pretty good. Um, 8,000 is my minimum. I'm trying to shoot for more like 10 to 12 every single day. So I think by the end of the day, I'll be there easily. It is a little refeed day, so you don't want to take as many steps in those days because the whole point of the refeed day is to refeed your body um, so you can decrease fatigue and have a good workout. And so if you just walk all the calories off, it's just like, okay, so you ate more food to, you know, it's just whatever. So <laughs> um, that's a perfect amount of steps in my opinion. And I'm feeling way better, way better about life now after taking that walk. It was super, super important for me. That's why I usually do the morning exercise. Um, you know, this morning I, I skipped it because I wanted to try it out. I wanted to see, okay, maybe it will help my fatigue, but honestly, now I think I definitely got to implement it, but I think I just have to have intervals, have the 30 minutes of like in, like more intense, low intensity steady state cardio, Monday, Wednesday, Friday to really burn the fat and then have the other days kind of just be like a, a light warm up for the day, I think is the best way to put it. Um, trying to find what works best for my body. Everywhere I walk, people are saying I'm looking insane, but I still feel like I look like shit. So body dysmorphia has been really bad this prep, really fucking bad. I'll be honest, but I just got to get out my own head, right? Hmm. All right, we're about to make some food, eat it up. I got a client call in about 30 minutes with my boy Ken. About to go over his first two weeks of the program. Again, guys, if you want to work with me one-on-one -on -one towards your fitness mindset and lifestyle goals, I got a link down in the description. We can hop on a call, talk about it. About to do that, then we're going to head out to the gym and hit some back hamstrings. Maybe a little bit of arms today, too. Okay, peace. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it is one o'clock on the dot and it's time for the gym. That's how we pull it up. About to go build some muscles in the fucking muscle car, baby. Hell yeah, dude. I didn't do much um, stim pre-workout. I did some pump, but I didn't do much stim simply because I ran out of it and didn't feel like opening a new tub. Hang on. Whoa. Oh. So we're going with some pre-workout Starbucks coffee. Um, my go-to is an ice shake and espresso. That's what this is. So it's an ice shake and espresso with sugar-free vanilla, and they're like no-fat milk. It tastes really freaking good. It's like almost 200 milligrams of caffeine, perfect amount. And I'm just feeling coffee today. I didn't have my coffee this morning. And it's just like, I love coffee. I need like one coffee drink a day. Um, you know, I was gonna go lower on the caffeine because I think my adrenals are fucked. I think that's kind of why I've been feeling off lately. It's because I had a couple days of very high stimulant usage. But anyways, I forgot. I already hit back the other fucking day, so I shouldn't hit back again. I gotta do my hamstrings though. I, then I don't know what the fuck I'm gonna hit. Maybe shoulders and arms. I don't know. We'll see when we get there.
right guys, I just got done with the workout. I'm beat. I didn't get a lot of clips, but here's the pump. <sighs> Looking pretty fucking sick in my opinion, dude. Woo Hell yeah, baby. Alright, my phone's gonna die, I'll catch y'all. Alright, just got home, about to have post workout meal. I know I've been recording my meals all day. So what I had meal two was beef and broccoli. Okay. And then pre workout is pancakes. Yes, pancakes. Um, had protein shake after the workout. Now we got turkey, broccoli, onions, five ounces of 99-1 turkey. Putting them in two tortilla shells. Those are 20 grams of carbs each. So got about 40 grams of carbs there. Nice and low. Um, yeah, I can definitely do some more today. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I think they're tough on me. Yeah, they're 20 each. Um, yeah, we were going about today's refeed day, but now I'm looking at myself and don't need it. It definitely ate a little bit too many carbs today, so we got to try to keep it under the 400 grams. Um, and then after this, I'm just going to relax because what I've been struggling with is oxidative stress. So my body's just inflamed, and so it's not really responding super well. So... Relax, take a cold shower, try to squeeze in an hour or two more of work, and then just hit the hay. And that's really it. Bodybuilding entrepreneurship doesn't balance well, but you can still do it both if you try. Okay, it's now 5.52, so almost 6 o'clock. Got home about an hour ago, a little bit more. I ate my meal like an hour ago, and so I laid down. Just took a cold shower and now I'm here. I got about two hours until it's gonna be eight and eight o'clock is usually when I'm gonna wanna head to sleep. So work on client work, okay? Work on this, I'm trying to learn Notion, how to use Notion because I'm trying to implement Notion into my business. So that's kind of been my main focus at the moment. It's trying to set up basically a template for every single client I have. And so everything's organized right in there, right? I think it'd be really cool because I just want to track everybody's like metrics super, 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 super well, right? And I think Notion will help that out a lot. It'd be cool. Um, so I'm going to work on that. Got to get my client a new meal plan. And then do some reading as well because I didn't do my reading yet. But I've marked off pretty much every single daily mandatory. Just got to get the reading done. About an hour more of work and I should be in total about four hours of deep work, which is good. A little bit of a of a chillax day, not too much going on, to be quite honest with you. You know, what I've realized is I've been losing out on a lot of potential in my bodybuilding side by trying to push myself too hard in, like, the business side. Not even self-improvement side, but just, like, business side. Like, just trying to do too much in business and stress myself out, you know? It's very hard to balance both, I'll be quite honest with you. Um, and so now for the next, you know, six weeks, I'm, I'm going to really try to focus on just being the best bodybuilder and, you know, if, if business, if other areas of my life have to take a hit, then that's okay. It's like, I've worked so hard to get where I am. It's just like, all I have to do is sacrifice a little bit more to become my best. Okay. Because I'm looking good. I still got a little chub on me and I mean, we can pull this off super easily. I know I can, um, I could pull a bunch of it off in just 21 days, which I believe is how long till that other show is. Even just two weeks, dude, I could pull a lot of this off for summer shredding. I just have to chill out. Oh. I just have to chillax a lot more. Like, I actually get my sleep in, right? Um, and reduce my inflammation, because my inflammation's super high at the moment. I can just tell. My face has been puffy, like... You can see, I just, I just know it's super high. So that's what I'm going to work on is just chillaxing, to be quite honest with you. And it's hard, man. It's hard because a lot of you guys will think I'm like a motivated person. I'm just an obsessive person. Like, that's all I am. I'm obsessive. Okay. I'm a very addicted person. And what I'm addicted to is literally just action. Like, I do not like to stop moving. I like to be super stimulated. Um, and so that's kind of hard with bodybuilding because bodybuilding is a very slow sport. You know, you have to 
chillax and be a little bit lazy, you know? So once I get done with these preps, I'm going to take my time off, reevaluate what I want to do, or these shows, I should say, uh, what I want to do. I'm sure I'll always come back, but having it be number one priority, uh, I don't know, you know? I mean, you got to try to figure it out, so we'll see here. But yeah, I'm going to get to work. I'm going to quit yapping. I got my water right there, my sparkling water to keep me full. And yeah, we're just going to enjoy, enjoy the night at the computer, man. Peace. Okay, guys, so it's 8.34 at night. I just cooked up my last meal today. We have egg whites, broccoli, sugar-free ketchup, and mustard on there, and red hot. And then we're having a little bit of pickles on the side. It's a really sad meal, but get some protein in me. And a tiny bit of carbs from the fiber and a little bit from the sugar, or a little bit from the ketchup. It's like 20 cows. But that's the day, dude. I'm about to head to sleep, try to get eight hours of sleep, get to sleep by 9, 9.30. Um, and, you know, I was kind of contemplating, contemplating, should I even upload this video? Because it's honestly kind of boring in my opinion, but then I thought about it, I was like, man, just upload it, dude. Just, just upload it, because it doesn't have to always be fun and exciting, you know? Um, I think it'd be good for people to look back at me, look back at, and just see, like, there's days where it's just boring, you know? I did, like, four or five hours of work today, a good amount. But didn't really actually get much done, and that's just some days, you know, because it's something new, you know? And it worries me because it's like, okay, is it the right thing to work on? I don't know, you know? Will my clients benefit from it? I don't know. Because that's what I'm doing. I'm trying to figure out this new software to really track everybody's stuff and organize things better so that they can just get better results. And it's like, is it a good use of my time? You know, I don't know. So it's a part of it. And yeah, just got to dial in on the body, dude. I'm, I'm happy with my progress, but I know I can do a lot better. So... Tomorrow we're getting up and we're going ham, okay? We're going ham. We're heading to the gym in the morning, doing extra cardio, okay? So we gotta beat this fucking competition, so. Tell you what, this prep has been hard, bro. It's been hard, but. I think as long as I dial in the sleep, I'll beat them. I'll beat them, I think that's been the biggest issue. I'll beat them, man. All right, I'm gonna eat this up and head to sleep, guys. Thanks for watching. Peace, as always. Keep being the best you. Keep striving every single day to become a better version of yourself.